um, mm -hmm. spoke about MFLA. And moving on now, there is a rumble at the Temple of Justice in Nigeria, and all that is left for us to do is to run towards getting a resolution. Retired Supreme Court Justice Musa Datijo Mohammed has lamented the poor salary structure of justices in the country. According to him, the monthly salary of Apex Court Registrar stands at 1.2 million naira, while justices get 751,000 naira, representing a 34.4% disparity. He said the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olukayadi Ariwola, is receiving 400,000 naira monthly salary, which is 66.7% less than the 1.2 million naira monthly take home of the registrar. Jide, what is this about? No, we talked about this. Uh, yes, the Court of Appeal. Uh, yes, uh, yes. In the Court of Appeal. Do you Extensively, know, Daddy. Uh, 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 part of what he said was that some people have been stagnated on the same salary for 15 years. And you don't want judges to take bribe. You don't want them take to bribe. Yeah, they will take bribe. Let's not deceive ourselves. That is true. What is, what is 400,000 naira? They have families. They have everything. You know, what is 400,000 oh, 400, naira? So a man naira. that old, like, he will need to buy his drugs and all that. Medical care outside. You know? Ah, you know, medical care. Uh, that one is a loss. It's for mm. those who can afford it. Mm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's for the privileged few. But what we are even saying is if you make our health system good enough, mm. Do people need to go? People go to Egypt, they go to Cameroon for Medicare. Mm. Is that Ghana. bad for us? <laughs> is that bad? Is that bad? <laughs> so, <laughs> but I find this really ridiculous. In fact, if it wasn't uh, just is that Joe That's saying spelling it, it out. I would not have believed Yeah, yeah. You know, because he's, ah. he's, he's taking his because leave Because the registrar, so the the registrar is supposed to work under the, the CGN. Yes. Uh, CGN. CGN. Take directives on the CGN, and it's any higher than the CGN. How did it happen? Hmm. It's just too many ridiculous things happening in our country. I don't know. I think this has to do with the revenue guys uh, mobilization. I don't know. You know, it was said before that even the, that some people in the debt management office, CBN, mm. NMPC, well, NCC, salary, uh, yeah, NCC, they end higher than the president. Yes. Hmm. They end higher than the president. They end higher than the, president. They end higher than the vice president. Hmm. So. How did we allow coming to that, that to happen? Population. If we don't do something about the salaries of judges, then we should forget about uh, um, trying to sanitize the judiciary. He was saying that um, uh, litigants easily bribe court officials and judges mm. to engineer delay or to obtain favorable uh, judgments. This is already well known. It's not uh, something... When you hear some of those orders, ridiculous orders that judges make, you know that it must have been influenced by money. And when you see some of the ridiculous cases filed by lawyers and they are allowed to go through, you know that court, uh, uh, court officials must have been bright. But there is a lot that uh, uh, he, he talked about that we also need to mention here, that the powers of the CGN are enormous. He talked yeah. about the powers of the CGN. Yeah. But these powers As the chairman had been the... there. It's not that he will allow give himself mm -hmm. those powers. Mm -hmm. huh. When I, the, the, we recognize, okay, this is the truth that he's talking about. We have to do something about it, that one person will be given all of those powers. He's the chairman of NGC. Yes. And NGC is, the, you know, the biggest ruling body that can punish any judge. And Even the, he the, mentioned the NJI, National mm. Judicial Institute as okay. well, you know. So, and um, another thing that he said is the constitution of the Supreme Court itself. The North Central is not represented as we speak. Right now. The South the Southeast East is not represented. Mm. When Justice uh, uh, Sylvester Nguta died, mm. they should have replaced him quickly. They didn't replace him. C.C. Mwese, one of the best judges on the, on the court, mm. also died. Mm. You know? 
they also didn't replace. So right now, the Southwest and Southeast doesn't have any representative. representative. Right now, the North Central doesn't have any representative. That Joe is leaving the court. They are left with just 10, mm. 10 judges. So there is a need to fill the void created by the, these departures. He was saying that, uh, that, those, that it was deliberate to not replace those people. I don't know kind of uh, uh, until we uh, speak with uh, President Buhari because these departures happened under his time. Why weren't they replaced? Because it's not uh, Ariwala will simply go and grab judges and put them uh, in the Supreme Court. No, that's not the structure. That's not how it's designed. So the current administration must take steps now, move quickly to bring in people. And we have the appeal court. They can bring in some of the best from the appeal court, get them into the system. Instead of um, these judges of the Supreme Court, they have so much work to do, and they are just down to, to 10. They are down to 10. Even the last, um, the last um, panel, it was out of the 10 left that they had to. So. And people like Ogumiju, uh, Justice Ogumiju, Kekereku, they did not want to be part of the panel. So what if more people had said, no, I don't want to be part of this panel. And you need seven. And you need seven out of ten. At any given point. So, so how, how would they have handled the situation? So is a, there is a need to do something quickly. Cross River now, Cross River has two. Justice Agim and uh, uh, Okoro, Okoro GSC, who read the lead judge. Yeah, Okoro. Yes. So, mm -hmm. but others that are not represented, they must, they must fill the vacuum quickly. Now, when, when we say, because that, that's it, true, as he was editing, mm -hmm. he had to spill the bean, you know, in, the, in their temple, everybody's always mute and everything. Yes, they are not they are retiring. Yes. They are retiring now. I think it, uh, it's now becoming like a, a, a tradition. So, those things he mentioned, when you want to look back at the composition, the salaries and everything, I think it's not good for people that are deciding the emolument to make sure to um, underpay the judges. Yeah, but I, I think um, in his time, Barry, that was one of the things he did about the independence of the judiciary. Uh, was it executive order 10 or so, you know, that he signed, in which the state governors mm -hmm. countered. He said he couldn't dictate to them concerning the, so the, the state judiciary. But at the federal level, there was this assurance that the judiciary and the federal, you know, would, you know, would now be independent and all that. But certain people have also talked about the fact that judges are overworked at different levels. They ought to have judicial aides who help them to research into cases. Mm -hmm. But they don't have these things. There are a lot of things that judges, up to the Supreme right Court, are denied. Okay, um, you, you, have, you have a backlog, thousands of cases before the appeal court, when are they going to finish these cases? So you litigants have to wait sometimes up to 20 years, mm. 30 years, for their cases to be decided at the appeal court. Yeah. I can give you some Black instances, matter, of, I can give you some instances of, of some cases like That's that. So busy. But you now find out that somehow you're able to, okay, let me just briefly touch about this immediately we're talking about, because somebody was so angry as if I was the one that caused the situation. What about the same immediately that went to court? and got an injunction. Is it not the same judiciary? So should the EFCC and the DSS now do the job of the judiciary? The point is no. So you must sit down. Stakeholders in, you know, must sit down to say, what kind of judiciary do we want? Because Justice that you mentioned it. He said he joined the judiciary out of a love for the system. But that now that he's retiring, is a different thing from what encouraged him to join. So if the right things are not in place. What do you expect to be done? You expect that people will not uh, cry out. People will cry out. So the point is, let us face the issues we need that need to be reformed, that need to be dealt with. Issues that should be changed. Don't start attacking people because they come out to say the right thing should be done. I mean, let's put, uh, let's call a spade a spade. The judiciary needs help. The judiciary needs help. If we if were even talking about uh, uh, salaries, you know, that means the executive order 10 was an effort in futility. 
Why haven't they recommended the court now? Not you know, because the gov governors are by nature selfish. They do not want autonomy for local governments. Yes, and the president did all of those, put all of those things together. They went to court and uh, said, look, there's no, the court ruled that there was no need for that. that those things that I wanted to do through the executive order were already enshrined in the constitution. So it was overruled through the courts. Now we are, we are in a situation in which we tell ourselves that perhaps it, was, it would have been nice to let the president exercise that, uh, that power because sending their money uh, through first line charge will have been the best thing because governors continue to tamper with the funds of local governments. This is a fact. They don't like it when you say it, but that is the truth. Yeah, that, but that, of course, that, that, that is the is, truth. That, that we've, is, seen, we've seen local government chairmen and governors fighting. What happened in uh, Abe, uh, no, 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 state, no, that state, yes. You know, where he said they tampered with their funds. And it has happened before. Some governors will suspend the local government chairman. Somebody was elected just like you. You just suspend him like that for quarreling with you. And then I'll get the police to arrest him for circulating false information. So when we misuse public institutions, what do we expect? Don't forget that under the former uh, CGN, the members of Justice of the Supreme Court wrote a petition where they accused him. Of, so it will just... It, it, know, do, this is just a, it's just a and vicious cycle. And they complain about their welfare. Mm. Yes, that, something needs to be done. Yeah, yeah, some of that those, they should have access to, they don't have. Because, um, some like of, the sitting, like some of the sitting justices of the, of the Supreme Court... Somebody so leaked it. ...will retire in a matter of five years. Within the next five years, they will retire. So what's going to happen? How are you going to encourage people at the lower rungs mm. to also come up, gather well, the You know, know there was something that, this thing that they are talking about, even appeal court is affected. And yes. Appeal well. court is the biggest court in the country in terms of size mm. and number of courts. With thousands of Though, cases. Some people don't want to even get elevated to appeal court. Yes. That's another because problem. When you are a, a, a judge serving in Lagos, serving in Rivers, the things that you are benefiting from in Rivers mm -hmm. or Lagos, it's when you get to appeal court, you, mm -hmm. you observe that it's not there. Mm -hmm. They told me that some of the judges don't even want to come. No, but they are also... Or they believe they are going to... to, to, to they don't see like a yes. promotion. Ah, how, many of, how many of our people, even in the South, want to go into the federal, the judicial service and to become judges? Many prefer to go into private practice as lawyers and, you know, one day become uh, SCNs. So... Some of these no, things. It's also uh, easy for some of them to move from private practice to. Uh, it's, uh, there are some friends that I had that we used to. I used to ask them questions, lawyers. Uh, the last time I called one of them, he told me, ah, I'm no longer barrister, this, so I'm justice. So, so, so. I said, I didn't know that you are joined uh, the, the Federal Bank. Judicial yes. Service, yes. You know, one uh, equity uh, lawyer like that is now a justice. Yes, which so, is more, 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 more. More, you know, lawyers should be encouraged to go into even the NJC. The we, need to, we need to uh, lawyers to get into the NJC. I thought that uh, that would even be done some years back, you know, or recruit some lawyers, experienced lawyers. Lawyers, yes. People like the Agbakoba. Encourage them, Agbaku, yeah. Around for long. Yeah. Get them into the Supreme Court, you know. So it, it was suggested, and somebody told me that it could be done soon. You can imagine if we are very knowledgeable people, the Olani Pekuns of this world, the Latifa Bemis, the Akintolans. Mm. They, yeah, they, they, they can sit competently mm. in the Supreme Court, you know. Uh, after all the years uh, that they, they practice as lawyers, they, they know law very well. So. But they should also look at competence. Was it not, was it Niger State or so, where they were telling, was it area judges to go and get degrees in law? Now, I found that to be very oh, shocking. No, even, uh, uh, customary, uh, even the customary uh, court, uh, court judges, many <laughs> of them are now competent. Uh, mm. mm. But they should not be. And they are decide, they, these people decide some important cases. All right. And finally, on the